Well, hello there, my fine friends. I've just got up, started my next four days off before I'm back at work. So, just recovering from the night shift, hence I'm bleary eyed. Bad, isn't it? It's like those googly eyed little things. Okay, so I've got a recipe to make authentic Orkney patties, or Orcadian patties, if you'd rather. Um, as you can tell by my voice and accent, I'm not from Orkney. And quite frankly, I don't know anybody from Orkney because there's, there's obviously not that many. Lowestoft, where I live, has three times the population of Orkney, which I find quite amazing. There's like 20,000 people live there, give or take. Um, anyway, so I've got this authentic recipe. I'm going to make them because I absolutely love trying these in the chippy up there in Kirkwall. So what do I need? I need 750 grams of potatoes. I need 500 grams of beef mince one onion, salt and pepper to taste, stock cube, beef one in this case, and some vegetable oil. Okay, this says rapeseed oil, rapeseed and vegetable oil, the same thing. Okay, so I need that. That's the first part. So that's to make the actual patties with. They're then gonna be battered, which I'll come to later. So there you go, kettle is boiling. Take are chopped up, they'll go in the pan. It's got to start by making my mash. Hubble, bubble, boil and trouble. So there's me spud mixing for the mash. Here I've got the mince now in some vegetable oil, some salt and pepper to taste, which is uh, gonna slowly fry off. Oh man, look at that all brown and all lovely. And look at all them bubbles in there, and all that steam coming out. This is gonna be good. Now, this is, this is kind of like one way of doing it, but to be truly authentic, um, as in the Orkney patties that I had in Orkney, in the chip shop, they made use of leftover chips, I think, because there was chunks of it. So next time I have chips, I shall make another version of this, as in chip shop Orkney patties. But for now, this is the sort of ones they do at home. The fan of deep fat fryer. Right, once you're happy with the color of your mince, as in it's browned off nicely, Add your chopped up onion and your stock cube. So I can't I can't film and do that, so just wait. There you go, so then we're gonna mix that in, soften off the um, onion. Right, so my onion softened off nicely. The thing you have to do now is obviously, obviously I'm gonna drain off the oil and fat first, but then I need to spoon it into a baking tray and bake it at 180 degrees for five minutes basically to dry off the mince. Well, I'm not gonna heat the oven up just for that. So I'm using the Ninja, which means I can put this under the title of using the Ninja Foodie Max, air fry and grill, to make um, Hockney patties. That's probably pushing a bit, but I can put that in the title and, and some of you guys will appreciate that because at least part of it's done by that. And you could potentially air fry this anyway, I suppose. I've not tried better. So let's just warm it up now. Here we go, five minutes. And then we'll be done. So there's me chopped up spuds. Drain them through the colander. And I'll pop them back to the pan so that they can carry on softening up and get the moisture out. So we've gone for a dry mash. Now I'm one of these people that always puts milk, butter, salt, pepper in my mash. Not for this, all right? This just has to be the potato. Okay, so we can leave that to steam before we mash it up. So the mince has dried off sufficiently and it's, it's nice and brown. I've mashed up the potatoes. I've now got to spoon the mince and onion into the potato, mix it together and leave it to cool. There we go, so that's all mixed in there. Okay, now we've just got to leave it, let it cool off, and then we can start making the patties. So there's my spread out patty mix. That's all cooled down now, so I'm gonna divide that into about 12 little balls. Well, two things to notice from this, first of all, I can't count to 12. Secondly, I decided that none of you really wanted to see my lovely balls. So I flattened them down into the patty shape ready. And they're now going to go into the fridge until this evening so that they can set. Because then they won't fall apart or be too moist when it comes to cooking them. Right, for my batter, I need 500 grams of self-raising flour, one egg yolk, 25 ml of vinegar, and about a litre of water. What I've got to do is mix them all together to get 
uh, sort of the consistency of double cream if that makes sense. I've kind of stirred it a little with a spoon to get the uh, ingredients combined. Now to whisk it I could use a hand whisk, I could use one of those little um, stick blenders but I'm lucky I've got myself one of these old Kenwoods. I've had these ever since I had my own house. I'm on I don't know the fifth one now I keep breaking them, I keep buying them second hand, burn them out and that. Um, so now we'll get on and whisk up the batter. So the batter's mixed. See, see what I mean? That sort of consistency. So I think I put about 900 mil in the end. It's just like double cream. Good stuff. Right, now at the cooking stage. So I've heated up my deep fat fryer to 180 degrees. Right, I've got my batter. The ninja's up to 180 degrees. I've actually made, these are the square ones, these are Freloese, they're vegetarian ones with um, veggie mints and there's the chips. So, let's pop these ones back in the fridge because these aren't quite cold yet. Simple, you get your patty, roll it in flour, just dusting the flour, you know, to obviously with, with all of the ones that you're going to do. Okay, and then that's going to be dipped into the batter. Okay. Okay, and then just slowly drop down into the hot oil. Okay. Now you need to do it in batches because you don't want to cool down your oil. Okay, by putting too much of it in. So I'm going to do four at a time, okay, you let it cook, rinse your fingers off so it doesn't go everywhere, okay, especially if you're like me, you pick your nose all the time, then you have a flowery nose. So, when it's cooked a little bit, right, I've got to give it a little shake because we don't want it to stick to the basket, okay, what you can do is not put the basket in because it sticks more to the basket than it will to the oven. So if you just come and have a little look, I'm going to pop that bike on. See, they're already starting to fry off okay there's little gaps on the batter unfortunately but that will be okay it's just where I, I I've had my fingers on so we can try again on the next batch where I'll just lay them in with say a fork or something like that okay. so there we go so I've lifted them out of the water so that's okay this one where it's come away you can see the batter's screwed up and that's basically shredded my patty. But the other three are looking all right. So I'm going to put them into Ninja now. Why don't you just keep warm and cook through. So all my patties are now fried up. I've got normal ones and the poisonous vegetarian ones there. So they're all looking good. They look a bit yellowy green on this screen. But no, they're more sort of browny yellow on there. I should say orange. So we'll leave them warming up while uh, we finish off the chips. Look at those, they look absolutely great. They look spot on. Look at that. Lovely, crisp, golden. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. We've got salt, pepper, vinegar, um, ketchup. Jobs are good. Maybe I need pickled onion. Golden brown, texture like sun. Lays me down with my mind. She runs throughout the night. No need to fight. Never a frown with golden brown. Look at that. Bit of salt, bit of vinegar. Oh, we've got the scraps on as well. Look, girls. This is a proper, we're having a proper Orkney, Orcadian patty supper. Proper meal. Look at that. Look That's going to be the best. Did you make the chip looks rubbish? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, the chips look really good. Did you peel the sponge? You're going to try one. Yourself? Yep. Yeah, I'll let you sit through the. 20 minutes of the video if you like. Oh, good. Yeah, that's the only one you're allowed. Yeah. Because you lost all that weight and look amazing. But you said, I'm not having any chips, so I haven't made any. But you got your first patty supper. And there we go. One homemade Orcadian patty supper. Mm mm mm. And what's it like? Mmm. Crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. And chips to die for. 
Or a heart attack. <laughs>